Pluto, the enigmatic dwarf planet at the edge of our solar system, still fascinates astronomers and space lovers alike. Despite being reclassified from a four-fledged planet, it remains a vital object of study for scientists exploring the outer reaches of the cosmos. Its journey across the frozen space beyond Neptune has captured imaginations, especially with recent discussions suggesting a potential encounter between Pluto and Neptune. While a collision sounds like a plot from science fiction, it prompted experts to look deeper into the complex motion of these celestial bodies. Prominent astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have shared their thoughts on this fascinating topic. They remind us that Pluto is not just distant, it moves in a way that challenges our understanding of orbital mechanics. Pluto's orbit is far from ordinary. Unlike Earth or Venus, which move in smooth, circular paths, Pluto takes a highly elliptical route stretching far into the dark stretches of the Kuiper Belt. It takes 248 Earth years for Pluto to complete one full revolution around the Sun. Incredibly, since its discovery in 1930, Pluto still hasn't completed one full orbit. This emphasizes just how slow and distant this tiny world is, drifting on a path so long that multiple human generations pass before it returns to the same position in space. Adding more complexity is its 17 degrees tilted orbit. While most planets travel along the ecliptic, a flat disk-shaped plane, Pluto is tipped at a sharp angle. This makes its motion through space unique and unpredictable. Yet the most intriguing aspect is that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. For about 20 years during its 248-year cycle, Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune. That seems like a recipe for a cosmic disaster. So why haven't these two collided? The answer lies in a stunning cosmic choreography, a 3-2 orbital resonance. For every three orbits Neptune completes, Pluto finishes exactly two. This perfect timing ensures they never meet at the crossing point. Whenever Pluto nears Neptune's path, Neptune is always on the opposite side of the Sun. It's like a carefully timed dance in the vast emptiness of space, orchestrated by gravity itself. This synchronization is more than coincidence. Scientists describe it as a gravitational buffer, a vibration-like effect that ensures Pluto never strays too close to Neptune. Whenever Pluto is near the danger zone, it stays at least 90 degrees away from Neptune in orbital longitude. Still, Pluto's orbit is not entirely stable. Simulations from the late 1980s show that it is a chaotic system. This doesn't mean it's about to crash into another planet but that tiny changes in its speed or position can result in massive shifts over millions of years. This chaotic nature means we can't always predict its exact location far into the future. The fascinating thing is that Pluto still remains stable over billions of years, suggesting there's a hidden order within its seemingly random path. Neil deGrasse Tyson, who played a major role in Pluto's reclassification, says this isn't about disrespect but scientific clarity. He sees Pluto's unusual behavior as a tool for learning, a gateway to understanding gravitational intricacies. Tyson believes that Pluto's mystery engages the public and inspires interest in science. He once said that by examining Pluto's path, we understand more about how the solar system maintains balance even when it seems chaotic. Michio Kaku Another top theoretical physicist links Pluto's movements to string theory. He believes that if Pluto and Neptune were ever to collide, a very unlikely event, it would produce gravitational waves, offering data on how spacetime responds to massive impacts. Kaku explains that such events resemble conditions just after the Big Bang. Studying them could help bridge the gap between gravity and quantum physics, a dream long held by physicists attempting to unify the forces of nature. Even though the chance of a Pluto-Neptune collision is slim, 
Just thinking about it helps researchers examine the forces that hold our solar system together. Scientists are constantly running supercomputer simulations to see how different objects affect each other. Massive planets like Jupiter and Saturn play a huge role. Their intense gravity doesn't just affect Pluto but also impacts the entire Kuiper Belt, where icy bodies drift beyond Neptune. These gas giants help stabilize orbits and prevent chaos. Without this gravitational order, the solar system could fall apart. Planets could be thrown out of their paths, even into interstellar space. The way Pluto continues its motion reflects this fragile yet powerful balance. Scientists are applying these lessons to other planetary systems. For example, the TRAPPIST-1 system, with seven Earth-like planets, has an incredible resonance chain. These planets move in lockstep, suggesting how systems remain stable over time. But this also means they're vulnerable. If one planet shifts slightly, the whole system could break down, causing planets to crash or even be ejected into space. This brings us to a stunning concept, rogue planets. These are planets without a star, drifting alone in the galaxy. Scientists believe they were kicked out of their systems after violent gravitational interactions. Shockingly, some astronomers estimate that rogue planets may outnumber stars in the galaxy. If one of these rogue planets wandered into our solar system, it could disrupt everything. Orbits could shift, and objects like Pluto might be thrown off their path. Thankfully, the vastness of space makes such encounters extremely rare. Still, studying Pluto helps us prepare for such scenarios. By understanding chaotic orbits, we can better predict how planetary systems react to external forces. These findings also tie into the three-body problem, a complex puzzle in physics that studies how three objects influence each other through gravity. This problem has fascinated mathematicians for centuries because it shows how difficult it is to predict the behavior of even simple systems. With new tools, scientists use simulations to get around the unpredictability. They can visualize what might happen under different conditions, even if they can't solve the equations perfectly. Pluto's path, while chaotic, follows certain rules. These rules, once fully understood, could help chart future spacecraft paths, locate habitable zones, or even detect exoplanets with similar orbital quirks. Some scientists suggest Pluto's orbit could be a model for studying other mysterious objects. For instance, Sedna or the elusive planet 9 might be influenced by similar hidden forces. As our computers and data improve, so does our ability to simulate the motions of celestial bodies. Today's supercomputers can model millions of years of motion, revealing patterns we never noticed before. These patterns don't just help us understand the solar system, they also give us insights into the early universe, helping piece together how stars and planets formed in the first place. In the words of Neil deGrasse Tyson, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Pluto is the perfect example. Its motion appears chaotic, yet it teaches us about stability hidden within disorder. Michio Kaku adds that each celestial anomaly is an opportunity to learn more about the structure of the cosmos. Whether it's a tilted orbit or a gravitational resonance, everything tells us something about the laws of physics. Ultimately, Pluto is not just a distant ice world. It's a cosmic laboratory, offering lessons about order, chaos, time, and gravity. It reminds us that even at the edges of our solar system, there are mysteries waiting to be explored. The more we study Pluto, the better we understand not just our solar system, but also the countless worlds beyond. From orbital dances to chaotic simulations, every discovery brings us closer to cosmic truth. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.